Hi, Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and I'm coming to you from my home office outside of Eden Prairie, Minnesota. Let me ask you a question. How would you like to get more likes, comments, and shares on your social media images? Well, pay close attention, because on this episode The Doctor Is In, I'm going to share with you my favorite strategy for doing so that's totally free, and you can get it done in a flash. So stay tuned. Today I'm going to share with you my absolute favorite way to create social media images that will get you more likes, comments, and shares. And the best part about this strategy is three things. Number one, it's absolutely free to do. Number two, you can create images very quickly. And number three, you can do this either on your mobile or your desktop or laptop. So let's get right to it. But the first thing that you have to do when creating your images is you want to use high definition royalty free images, which means you're not going to get hit with copyright infringement. So I've shared with you in the past my favorite places to find those, such as pexels.com or pixabay.com. I just came across a brand new place that I learned on Post Planner called Unsplash. Go to unsplash.com. You can either create your own login information or you can log in with Facebook and you're going to get access to some really stunning eye-popping images. And what I really like about Unsplash is that every month they're going to send you 10 brand new images to your email box. So you're going to have a really great collection of images you can use not only for social media, but you can use them in your blog posts and in your YouTube thumbnail designs as well. Once you've found a picture, all you have to do as you see here, you would, um, I'm going to scroll down and find one here, like the one with the shoes here. And you can see where you see this little icon on the lower right hand corner of the picture that says download photo. So if you click on that, it's going to take you to a photo just like this on a new page. And then all you have to do is right click and say save image as. The next step there is I'm now going to go to Canva, C A N V A dot com and I'm going to design my image. What I love about Canva is it has many different social media templates, blog post templates, any type of template for any type of image. So they have a social media template. So I'm gonna click on that. And what's really great about Canva is within each of the major templates, they have different layouts that you can use to really make your image stand out. So what we're going to do is if you look over here and you click on the layout tab, you're going to get a whole bunch of these different uh, layouts that you can use to really make your images pop. So I'm just going to do, for example sake, I'm going to select spring flowers and bloom and I just drag it over. Now what I'll do is I'll come to uploads and I will upload my image. Once it's done uploading, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag it over like this, hover over, so you can see now that picture is in that place. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to change this just do and then just do it. All right, so I'm going to put just this type of caption on here, you can adjust the fonts, that you can make it bold face, you can increase the size. Then what I'm going to do is I always make sure that I put a watermark image on my social media image that is on my brand. And on my watermark image, I'm putting my name and the name of my website so people know that they can come and find my information. So all I'm going to do is drag it right down here. And then I'm going to come up here and just make sure that I uh, put in a design title. So I'm going to say social media image example for today's video. And I'm going to collect select done. And then I'll come over here, save the changes. Then I'm just going to hit download. All right. That's how simple this is. That took me roughly about a minute and a half to two minutes. So you can really create eye-popping images 
that are going to resonate with your audience. Just make sure you're selecting images that you know your audience is going to really respond to. Did you find this video helpful? Leave a comment and share. And make sure you head over to my website at drlisamthompson.com. And when you do, and you click on this button here to fill out the form, I'm going to give you my free book, The Five Online Tools to Build a Buyer's Audience on Social Media. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of The Doctor Is In, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.